Say Central American island rem reminds some of Jurassic Park, but the species that call it home are no clones. Thousands of birds, insects, and amphibians are studied and preserved. Major Garrett is at the Smithsonian's Folger Rose Garden in Washington. He got a first-hand look at one of his most prized collections, Far From Home. Major, good morning. Good morning. When most of us think of the Smithsonian Institution, we quite naturally conjure images or memories of its museums here on the National Mall, or if you've been here, its lush gardens. But on a recent trip to Panama with President Obama, we found something amazing, something the Smithsonian has been hiding in plain sight for almost 100 years. As massive commercial vessels pass through the Panama Canal, this boat carries scientists to Barro, Colorado Island, one of the world's most important tropical research facilities and a scientific jewel of the Smithsonian Institution. Barro, Colorado is the island created by man-made Gatun Lake, part of the water bridge between the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans in the Panama Canal. It has served no purpose other than research, attracting scientists since the first crude huts and labs were built here in 1923. Nowhere on Earth is there more complete research data on tropical forests. You can go back into the literature and go back into the data collected by our scientific forefathers and foremothers and, and get the whole story. Matt Larson directs the Institute. Well, there are a few places in the tropics, such as this one, that have been studied so long, so intensively. In the thick forest, we found howler monkeys and odd-looking rodents called agoutis. Lessons learned from the life cycle of tree species here and from hillside water drainage have led to successful reforestation in other tropical forests. From trees to bees, like these electric green marvels known as euglossine orchid bees. The male variety pollinates tropical forest flowers and plants in the lower leafy canopy. Researchers like Callum Kingwell study their mating habits by attracting males to this tea strainer filled with eucalyptus oil. These guys are trying to get perfume so that they can attract females. Covering yourself profusely with Axe body spray would be what these guys are attempting to do. The island, only six square miles, is home to 1,400 plant species and more than 100 types of mammals. 1,400 visiting scientists and students come here each year, like Tom Bradford Lawrence from the United Kingdom. What I do is I climb the tree and then I survey the birds from the top of the tree. Lawrence researches avian habitats and behavior. He carried our camera to the forest ceiling he observes daily. You can see the rates at which the different types of species colonize the forest. The Smithsonian also conducts research in and around Panama City, where we found sloths, giant lizards, nesting birds, butterflies, and frogs, endangered frogs, threatened by a fungus that has eradicated dozens of species in Panama for the past 20 years. By isolating these frogs, scientists hope to rebuild their numbers and help them dodge extinction. The Smithsonian has what scientists need most, an untouched preserve with decades of continuous research, numbers, observations, measurements, and a place to find answers. Understanding our environment is increasingly important because as humans dominate our planet, we need to be able to manage all of our resources. We learn many things on Bado, Colorado. Among them, wearing a suit and tie is no fun at all. Also, the difference between a tropical forest and a rainforest. A tropical forest has a distinct dry season. In Panama, it runs from roughly Christmas to Easter. Gail, a rainforest has no dry season at all. Oh, beautiful images. God, Thank you, Major. Just remind you how you got it. beautiful nature, nature can be. is. I was thinking that exact same thing. Also wondering if you're going to go out and get some Axe body spray, or you, as the kids of today, say all good. Well, I, if it worked, I would do it, but I heard it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Translation: He's all good.